Prospector Paul here. Hey, today we're out in Arizona over by Lake Pleasant. You can kind of see it off in the distance there. I just got the quad off the truck. Today we're going to go out and look for opal geodes. We got a few people ready to go. <laughs> we're going to make a fun day out of this. be some ants in there or some kind of little bug that's weird huh oh yeah there's a bug in there probably a bee some rugged country isn't it that's all jagged up there big old column of rhyolite thinking that's where the Geode should be. Shouldn't they form in rhyolite? Don't know. Ain't found much yet, but we'll keep walking around. We'll find them. Well, I come across this creek, and it's got a whole bunch of stones dropped out in here. So wherever the source is at, these uh, geodes have been washing out over time. And I figured, why not check this gravel bar? Be my best chance. And I just come across this. Pretty sure that's going to be an opal geode. It's actually a double. Not a high quality piece. Got a couple others in here. Pretty sure that's a, yeah, that's definitely an opal geode right there. That's pretty cool. There's a piece of one. There's another one. So yeah, they got this weird agate look from the outside, right? I'm thinking this one's probably one too. Yeah, it is. See how that's got that betroidal agate look to it? I mean, yeah, look at that. That's cool. That's definitely an agate. I don't believe that one's an opal one. That's pretty neat. Looks pretty heavy. We sure ought to bug it. Yeah, come across this little gravel bar, and now I'm finding <laughs> geodes. Ooh, here's a little guy. Right here. See the weird shape? Very agate betroidal. Different. Hmm. Oh, it's going to have uh, crystal, crystal uh, inside. All right, we'll keep that one. That's a piece of one. Yep, that's definitely a broken cap from one. Looks opaly. Huh. All right. Well, man, look at this bedrock. <laughs> I should be gold hunting here. Nice jaggedy bedrock. The creek runs this way, and the cracks are running that way. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my goodness. This was right here. Look at that. Wow, that is opal there all day. Common opal. Yep. Different. Yeah, that's opal. Huh. A little piece of 
Oh, Kalichi. Boy, the more, the more my eyes getting trained, the more I'm finding now. That's some kind of geode. Weird looking one. That stuff's everywhere now. Couldn't find anything for first 30 minutes. Now I'm finding it all over. That's a big piece. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And there's a geode. That's a neat one. Huh. Cool, man. Well, uh, let's see, I'll put this in the bucket. I'm gonna check out this flower up here. It's pretty cool. Probably find 20 geodes along the way. <laughs> there's one. Ooh, there's a cool piece. Wow. Kind of a druzy. Man. Definitely agate. Not not a uh, opal one. Huh. There's one. That one's gonna be agatey. There's a sphere. Hey, this one might be cool. Yeah. Huh. Opal or caliche? That's caliche. Weird. No, there's opal in it. Right there. Big band of opal. Huh. Mmm, rhyolite. Yep. There's another. That's opal. Hmm. Hey, look at that. That is weird. Huh. Cool. Zeolites, yeah. Huh. The basalt with some kind of mineral in it. For a minute there, I thought that might have been a geode, but that's rhyolite. That's just uh, volcanic ash. Not sure. Let's go check out this flower. A big old piece of rhyolite. This thing's unbelievable. Wow, look how pretty that is, huh? Super cool. Pretty awesome. Ooh. Is that opal? Nope. Some kind of crystals. Huh. Neat. Flower brought me right to that one. When I turned around, there's that flower. Turn around and I'm like, hey, that looks like chrysocolids. Or like an azurite color. It's kind of blue. But that is opal. It's common opal, but it's blue. That is cool as heck. What we got here? Oh wow, what do we got going here? Yeah, it's got some blue in it. Man, I wish I could find that in a geode form. That is neat as heck. There's some kind of a geode here. Agate, big old boy. I'll take this little piece. I like that blue stuff, that's cool. Huh. I'd like to find some more of that. 
A wild wash, man. Definitely wild. Uh oh, got some claim jumpers. <laughs> Hey, I already staked the claim here. I know. I just overrode it. <laughs> yeah, I see that. This one's kind of cool. It's got a little blue tint to it. Yeah. Oh, is that opal, right? Yep. Opal, little cow Sydney in there. Yeah. Piece, right? Yeah, of course. I don't need it. Yeah, I just yeah. want something for the camera. I got some in the bucket back there. That's definitely a cool geode, though. It's kind of round and... Well, I'm still in um, common opal. Probably going to have about a 50% failure rate on what's inside. Yeah, I figured that. You know, it's like anything. Oh, yeah. It ain't like we're at Richardson's Ranch in Oregon. Oh, where... God, no. <laughs> I don't think that was it. So... You just never know till you put the saw to them. Scout around, turn you back on when uh, find something good. I think we're going back to the buggies. I'll go up a little bit. Check that out. Some kind of like a shale deposit with that cactus. <laughs> it's growing out of that damn rock. That's just amazing. Huh. Got some Palo Verde growing out of it too. Pretty cool. Just really digging on this bank. It's just so cool. Looks like a shale bedrock. Like a deposited bedrock, but it doesn't fit the landscape. Definitely cool. Really cool. Hmm. It's a big old nasty something. Oh, scorpion right there. See him? And I didn't have my gloves on. I'll be damned. That is not the bark. I think that's called the golden scorpion. You do see them, right? Now oh, they like to have their belly petted. <laughs> I'm kidding. That is definitely a weird little bug. It's only my second scorpion. Hmm. Well, let me get the phone out and get a picture of them. I don't see too many of them guys. Yeah, definitely a weird bug. Supposedly they come out at night and eat crickets. Don't know what he's doing down here in his wash. But yeah, look at him make him a little ball. He don't like that sun. They don't like it at all. All right, let me get my camera. Get a picture. Well, looks like we found the source. It's a rhyolite-based opal. I can see some seam in here. Oh, yeah. And then somebody chipped away at this one. This one had a little star pattern to it. That's... Dig that one out of there, Paul. That's a nice one for you to take home. Yeah. And there's just tons of little guys all yeah. over the place. I left my... Um, Look at all the betroidals. Yeah. I left my pickup at the... <laughs> there's a nice my one. My hammer pickup at the car. That's a nice one there. Yeah. yeah. This one's really interesting. That one really is, yeah. You take that saw and face that off, and yeah. that'll have the three-point the three point star. Yeah. Dig Definitely. that out of there. You gotta dig it out. Well, it looks like I just got a job. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Rhyolite's usually pretty soft. It should come out. It should come out for you? Yeah, it should. But yeah, that's it. It's based in these. Yeah. Just look at this giant boulder here full of... There's one. There's one. This is a giant one. A little guy. Some down there. Yeah, it's the, the bedrock. The bedrock is basically the, wow, there's one with agate in it. So cool. There's a mine down there. There's a mine down there? The things I go through to bring these episodes to you. <laughs> so I was chipping this one out. And this one popped out of here. And it's got some of that blue in it. Kind of cool. So I'll throw that one in the bucket. And we'll just get rid of this guy. So this is rhyolite, volcanic ash. It's pretty soft. Oh, I think I got it. 
Big dummy. Well, it broke. Oh, well, that's cool. Got some banding in it. Different layers. What would they call that? A water level? It would be a water level or a water agate if it was an agate. Looks like opal and agate mixed, actually. Well, got one out of there. So how did you, you just saw it right in the, like yeah. this? Yep, that's one, that's oh. one, that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one, that one. Really, those are Every one of them. This is a giant, nodes? giant betroidal based. Yeah, you could chisel this thing right out. Huh. Pretty cool. Check out that piece. Hopefully it'll pick it up. Look at that. Isn't that wild? It was already broke. Oh, got it. Another goat head. Mm. That's number three. Yeah, that is a cool piece. And they're just all over in this wall. Same color. That big boy in there, huh? Huh? Yeah. Ooh, I guess I should have looked up before uh, I put my big fat head under there. I'm gonna move. Well, here's some more in the matrix. There's a beautiful piece of opal. Wow, that just got a different feel to it. Huh. Wish you could feel that. That's pretty cool. It's kind of waxy like an agate, but it's got a little stick to it. Here's another piece. I mean, all these betroidals are just full of opal. Opal and Kel Sydney. Very, very cool. That's the host rock right there. It's gray rhyolite. And we got over here. Oh, there's a big chunky piece. Wow. Ah, better be careful. Might be a scorpion under it. Yeah, that's a big chunker. Too big for my saw. It just, that fluid was oozing through this rhyolite just like crazy. You can see a little bit of opal on that one. A little more up here. Somebody got one out of there. Definitely cool. Really cool. That's a big chunk. There's a big chunk. Oh yeah. Hmm. Wow, look at that, huh? Cool. So there's Opal. And there's Kel Sydney in the same pocket. And that's all Kel Sydney in this one. Hmm. Very, very cool. Look at that. Very cool. Huh. There's just a big chunk of opal right there. Yep. That is opal. So cool. This is a neat place. That's pretty cool. Huh. I always buy these orange flowers. I find my good, good best stuff. See something over here. Ooh, look at the betroidals on that one. But, uh, oh, found us a bullet too. Jeez. And there's a casing. Who needs a metal detector? There's a nice one. Ooh, it's free. Free for the taking. Big old chunk of opal. All over in that wall too. Huh. Well, I'll take these.
Yeah, it's a heck of a lot of fun. I'll tell you, it was uh, it was definitely a lot of work to get back here. There ain't no way a truck will make it. We got a couple of Jeeps back here, but everybody's got side by sides, or I'm the only one on a quad. It's the only way back. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Where'd my sunglasses go? There they are. Oh, cool. Nice piece of rhyolite. Got that wood grain effect. So cool. Huh. All right, turn it on when I find something good again. Looks like we're getting ready to go. Huh. Well, let's check out this scenery. Man, oh man, the big old Choy is up there. Or Serraro, excuse me. Battle Verdes. So pretty. Awesome back here. Very, very cool. Huh. See how some of these turned out. Well, that one's more of a big old mud ball. The opal didn't quite form right. Another example of that. There was a lot of duds. That one's got like a little crystal core to it. Nope, that's from a different hunt. Never mind. There's one with. Some junk opal, some good opal. It's kind of got that waterline pattern to it. Must be the other half. Another junker. Oh, cool. Yeah, even... Well, there's one with some of that blue in it. Pretty cool. Kind of a waterline agate look to it. Opal and Chalcedony. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they're just a lot of mud balls. Now for the good stuff. Well, the first one I'll show you is kind of incomplete. It's got some rough opal there, but it's definitely got that water line. This was the one I broke off. Remember? That chunk's still stuck in the host rock. But that ended up being a pretty cool peace the next one's actually a double geode that one came out pretty good too it's still got the waterline agate look to it different but it's a double the other half of it pretty cool uh, let's see my best agate was this one so it's got chalcedony up here and opal down here Let's get that a little wet that's better that's pretty cool pretty awesome geode while I was messing around I started polishing up some petrified wood I'll make a cool little display and then, look at that, huh? Wow. 
That's my favorite piece. That was the last one I found there in Holbrook. Huh. It's gonna it's gonna polish up nice. Definitely love that piece. Finally got around to cutting it. It was a little too big for the saw, but I made it work. Starting to take a real good polish up here. But uh got some low spots down there. All right, that's Prospector Paul wrapping it up for this week. Hey, I want to give a shout out to my two Patreon members, Portuga Lisa and Mike from Vendetta Prospecting. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping keep the dream alive. Really appreciate you, folks. If you'd like to join Patreon and help keep the dream alive, check out the link in the description below. All right, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Love reading your comments. Prospector Paul, out. Uh -huh.